I'm looking forward to doing this reading for you guys. What's going on in the lives of Leo? It's going to be a love reading. What's going on with those that seek to connect with me and those that I connect with? What's going on in their love life this time? All right, Leos. Oh, wow. Beautiful, beautiful. Guys, I get the sense that a relationship here is changing for, finally, a positive reading. It's changing for the better, all right? It's, there's a, some sort of phase that is that is elevating, that is escalating. I feel that in the recent past, ladies and gentlemen, there was a relationship that came back around. It's like the past revisited, okay? And where this is going is development. That's what I'm saying here. Development. Now, you may feel a bit daunted about this. Something here may be stressing you out, Leo. All right, but know that whatever friction is attached to ideas regarding this relationship, whatever friction is attached to ideas regarding this relationship are stemming from you, okay? They're stemming from you and that's it. You are imposing limitations on yourself by thinking pessimistically regarding this relationship. Those thoughts aren't aligned with what actions you're taking. Those thoughts are not aligned with the desire of stabilizing and growing a relationship, ladies and gentlemen. Now, <clears throat> I see love. All right. And love isn't this fucking Romeo and Juliet happy ever after. It's two people seeking goodness for one another. All right. Through the sharing of their time, through the sharing of their energy. Baby, let me make you happy. Come on. Let me rub your back. Let me cook for you. Let me open your door. You know what I mean? I should stop because things are only going to escalate about what I want to do to you. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. Anyways, guys, tell me about this lioness energy. I didn't say lioness, I said lioness. Same shit, right? Anyways, I'm not speaking to only the women, but also the males. The male lions. What's going on, Leos? All right, man, you're ready to just relinquish whatever the hell is in the way from having a positive relationship you're ready to just move on from anything that that is hindering a heart-to-heart -heart communication essentially a heart-to-heart -heart exchange you want this you're about this could be dealing with the earth sign now what is the advice here all right the chariot the chariot is all about being taking a decisive action why, why is this in the challenge position? Why is this? Help me understand so that I can relay this to Leo. All right, wounds, curious. A lot of inaction, ladies and gentlemen. Look, you want transformation? Enough collecting data. Enough trying to figure out the individual. All right, you want change? You want transformation? You want cooperation? You want collaboration? you want team effort in building a relationship, then you must take action, all right? Action orientation. That's it, that's what I'm saying here, Leo. All right, that's what I'm saying here. Action orientation. All right, guys. Hmm. It's time to take action. I mean, you're probably already there. You're already in your motion. You're already on your way to doing that. All right, now, if I can give Leo any advice regarding this matter, <clears throat> what would it be? By the way, in the outcome, I see communication. So I do see that action being taken, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful. It's interesting to see how all things are linked. That's why I like doing this. It's so fascinating to me as a reader to, to make the connections, to make the connections, to connect with the spirits and receive them. The flow, the energy, you know, it's just, give me any piece of advice for Leo. Any 
any piece of advice for the Leo. Okay. Leo, Leo. All right, guys, look, I feel that whatever it is that you've been dealing with, whatever friction surrounds this relationship was something quite heavy, was something quite heavy, and it shifted the relationship. It changed the relationship in some sort of way, okay? However, there's a significant amount of investment from both parties, all right, from both parties. That is what I'm seeing here, ladies and gentlemen. This does not seem clear, Leo. All right, the future does not seem clear. You, you may be a bit, you know, dubious about where this relationship is going to end and you may have frictional thoughts concerning this relationship. But let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, there's no, there's no other way about it than to fucking walk through the darkness. You see, the moon depicts obscurity. But just because it's dark doesn't mean that you can't walk through it. You find your way through it. If you don't have the fucking map, you feel your way through it. Figure it out through actions, right? Through actions, through intelligent actions, of course, ladies and gentlemen. You're not going to be impulsive and just fucking go out and, you know, you be strategic and with integrity, of course. If you behave with integrity, ladies and gentlemen, if you behave with authenticity, guys, you can't do anything better than that. So stop. So, so I'm not saying you guys are playing games. But don't fucking play around. Be serious about it. Be serious about your actions. Be serious about what you want. All right? And take action in communicating it, ladies and gentlemen. All right? Because only by doing so will the opportunity for balance come about. Now, Leo, I'm going to take this to the extended and I'm going to bore into this individual. What energy surrounds their thoughts, their feelings, their intentions towards you? And let me tell you what I'm seeing here. This individual here does seem a bit frictional, all right? They, I, I get the sense that this individual has a lot of repressed information, a lot of repressed information that you don't know about. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I'm seeing the high priestess, all right? Now, this individual feels that there's some sort of unjust, unjust within the connection. And guys... That needs to be balanced out. It needs to be balanced out. All right. I, I don't <clears throat> mind you. This this information is just coming to me. I'm not even I'm not even reading this no more. But anyways, I'm gonna take this to the extended, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna bore into this individual. What energy surrounds their thoughts, their feelings, their intentions towards you, Leo? If this was your reading. I'll see you there. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure as always. Keep shining. Enjoy this holiday time. And end the year with a fucking bang. And I don't mean by doing something spectacular, going and getting fucked up on New Year's Eve. I'm saying internally, ladies and gentlemen, feel good about yourself. Be proud about yourself. Yes. I'll see you in the extended. Otherwise, go follow my adventure channel. The link is in the description. I just released a, a Jingle Bell special. All right, go check it out. <laughs>